Hi, this is Jason with Days Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to create a hyperlink to a file in Word. And this uh, was an article that was written on Days Computer Tips by Carol Bratt. And she writes a lot of how-tos on Word. So if you want to check those out, head over there and look for Carol Bratt's articles on all the Word document how-tos. She has uh, many, many of them. But in this video, uh, I'm going to actually show you how to do it in the video so you know how to do it too. This is hyperlinking a... A, a file off your computer itself. So it'll be linked to the file on your computer that resides on your computer. So before we get going, please hit the like button for this video. It really helps out our channel. And also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this on Office 365, the desktop app Word. And then also I'll show you, it's not as detailed, it's not as, it's really simple on the um, online version of the Word. It's not really the one that's going to give you a bunch of details. You basically just can add a link, which is fine. But I'm going to show you how to do it that way too. But first, we're going to start with the Office 365 desktop Word app. So let's go there first. So let's open up that Word document, which I already have open. And there it is. So we want to add a hyperlink. So let's just pick a word, any word today. We'll pick tried. How about that? So you're going to highlight it just like you always do. Hold down the left in the front and then drag across it. Or you can double click it and it highlights it too but I like to do it this way. And then what you can do, once you highlight it, you can hit the control, the control and then hit K on your keyboard, control key and then K, it brings up the insert hyperlink, which is a quick key for that. Now, if you don't do it that way, you can always right click on the highlighted word and go down to the bottom of this menu and hit link right there. Pretty simple, quick to get to. So we'll click on that. So this is where we're gonna start. You're gonna look to the link to on the side here. And um, we're down to the left, and you want to go down to existing file or web page. That's the one we want it selected. Um, so we're going to select that one, which we already have selected. Then we want to find the the document we want to have linked to this to this Word document. So we're going to go to I'm in Documents. That's the file I want to be in. And then we're going to go down here. I'm going to scroll until I find the one I like, and I know where it is. Oh, there it is, the very bottom. So we're going to click on this. And that's going to make the link and show you the link address down below. But I also want to make sure we go to target frame on the right. So we're going to go here next. And then right here is the set target frame. Basically, this is telling you when you click on the link word, is it going to open a new window, a whole new page, um, the same frame, all that. I like to do new window. I always like to keep my one document open and the other one can open. You can set this as your default, but I'm not really going to do that. I'm going to leave it as is and say OK. So now it knows where to open. And at the top here, you'll see text to display. That is basically the word you just highlighted. You can change it if you want up here. I don't know why you would if you highlighted the word. <laughs> so, But you can. So if you change this, it will change it on your document. But I'm going to leave it as tried. That's what it is. Now, if you want to create a new document to link to this, you can actually go right onto the left side and hit create new document. It's pretty quick and simple once you get in here. You'll, it's it's pretty easy to follow. So you can also do emails, but we're going to do the file on our computer. I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to hit OK. And because we already set the target frame. And the time. So there we go. There it is. That's how you do it on the uh, Word on your desktop. So that's how that works there. That's Office 365 we use. So you can actually follow the link if you want. So you can hover over it, and it gives you hit Control plus click your mouse. So we're going to do that. Oh, I love when I do that. It's like I highlighted the whole thing. Okay, let's do that one more time. There we go. Oh, see, the funny thing is I just forgot to tell you, I linked it to the same document. So basically, it's like you already have the document open. Well, that was my fault. So let's go back into it real quick so I can show you how that works without having it be the same document. And I don't want to have to re-record this. So we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to do it this way. So hold on, we're going to do this one. Control, I got to highlight it. See, even I forget things as a tech. Control K, go inside. Perfect. And then we're going to link it to something else because that was just weird. So we're going to link it to something that actually will take me somewhere else. So we're going to go down here. we go Johnny Depp. Say OK. <laughs> and then we can go. Now it's done. Now you can do that. All right. Now, see, it opened a new document. So that's how easy it is to do that. So I'm going to do this once I grab the right thing. 
And some reason, I'm having a hard time moving my whole screen. Why is that? No one. There we go. See, I knew there was two different windows. All right. So it opened up another window. Like I said, I wanted to open a new window. So that's how you do it on the Office 365 Word desktop app. So that's how that works there. Now, if we go online to the Word document up here, here we are. The linking doesn't work as smoothly, but I'll show you something cool. So we're going to highlight this person's first name. That's not our first name. That's not even close. So what we do is highlight this word. And then what you want to do is you can hit control K on here still surprise. But look, this is all it gives you. It doesn't give you detailed links or anything like that. It's just, there's the name, give them the link address and that's it. And then you insert it. So it's not as um, detailed as the one, the desktop app, but it does give you a chance to link things quickly. And the control K is kind of a nice quick key to use when you're trying to do it. So that's pretty much all you have to do to create a hyperlink to a file in Word that resides on your computer. So there you go, guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And yes, definitely go check out Carol Bratt's other article. She's really good at these Word. It's just like she's an expert on all Word. So if you have any questions, send her a question, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. Uh, where all, all our articles are and make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching